All right. I'd like to call so, a nice to meet in the order. Uh, thank you for who is here. We're going to go ahead and get our invocation together by uh, Pastor Michael Jackson of Confidence Missionary Baptist Church. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Let us pray. Grace and eternal God, our Father, we thank you now for this day. God, we thank you so much for your grace and your mercy and your kindness. Now, God, we ask your blessing upon our mayor, our mayor pro tem, and the entire council. And we ask that you bless the city staff. We ask that you continue to be with, the, be with us in this meeting tonight. Lead, guide, and govern us and direct us in the manner that you see fit. It's in Jesus' name we do pray. All of God's children say amen. 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 Praying on words with the church to the flag. You can die, say, Southern Alarco. She was a very public voice to dance. One nation under God. An English soul will believe that there is to end. Chest is proud. Thank you so much, Pastor Jackson, for that prayer. All right, first things first, we have an approval of the minutes of regular council meeting held on September 10th, 2024. All right, have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. All right. All in favor? All in favor. All right. Also, we have an approval of the minutes of the work session meeting held on September 10th, 2024. Do I have a motion? So moved. All right. Second. Second. All in favor? All right. Aye. Also, no employee recognition tonight. Uh, that was moved to a later date. Uh, no public hearings, no petitions or communications. Uh, report, city manager. Yes, sir. Um, no, that hurt me. Yes, sir. I want to let you know the city is preparing our departments have been put to support. Uh, we're hoping the storm was not going to cause an impact. That's the official idea. Right? The police department had to take care of the, the thing they need to do in their area. Uh, Bill and Bo Prazer went today. Zach Steele with the county had a preparatory meeting, kind of getting all the people together that will be involved in any kind of restoration. So we're uh, we're moving forward in that direction and hoping, hoping for the best. So. Yes. Patrick, can we uh, make sure that we uh, we have asked the newspaper? Hey, let's let's uh, we can get the information out. Try to get it uh, up size more about the Facebook page for City of the Grain Utilities. Yes. So this way you have power outages. That that's that's the place to go to. Yes, sir. And uh, we we we're gonna have staff updating that. Yes, it's that kind of trip, right? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, well, we can certainly get to make sure you got that information. Yeah, but we get thousands of people trying to call at one time. Obviously, check it. Right. Through, let's uh, two people answer the phone. So we'll, we'll certainly make sure that we keep that up to date. It's very communication tools. Of course, I'm sure they'll be in touch with the paper roll. That's all right. Yeah, we work with Katie. So we work with Katie really well and try to keep exposing you for them. Thanks, I guess. Um, also, you do have your financial statements. Um, all in all, revenues exceed expenses through the first two months of the fiscal year. We're on budget overall, so that's good news. Uh, there are always some timing issues, particularly at the beginning of the fiscal year, where we're making that payment. Sometimes we, you know, receive all the franchise tax money at, at one point in time, so you see some some fluctuations, but it kind of evens out as we go through the year. So as we get further and further through the fiscal year, you'll see things kind of settle out a little bit. Uh, but all in all, we uh, we're in good shape financially. Um, payments of bills over 5000 have been included. You can always call me with questions about any expenditure that you see that you have questions about. Uh, and then the last item I have, and uh, I'm going to allow Mark Costule to, to uh, update you on the proposed moratorium on uh, permits related to commercial signage. Uh, Mark. Thank you. Good morning, Mayor Pro, or good afternoon, Mayor Pro Tem and Council Members. Um, Councilwoman Pippen recently inquired about how our standard information sign ordinance was currently operating and being applied. Section 25B-45-9 titled Standard Information Sign deals exclusively with commercial signage on lots or parcels with a residential zoning designation. Currently, commercial signs may be limited to, a commer limited to commercial activities lawfully occurring on the premises. Permitted examples of these signs include real estate signs and signs uh, regarding ongoing home renovations and repair. If, obviously, while working with our city attorney, we need to look at this uh, ordinance a little bit more closely. If it's your pleasure to do so, the action item for this evening is to call for a 120-day moratorium for permits to be issued under this code section. Motion to motion to uh, approve this moratorium. Second. Have a motion and a second in discussion on it. I want to ask. Um, I think this came up in the in the context of. Uh, well, let let me ask. What was the context of the signs that were uh, initially being put out? 
Um, I had gotten some calls about some signs that were put up um, on several residential streets that were wood frame structures that did not have a sign in them yet, but were wood framed structures that were clearly going to be a sign. They were in the middle of a front yard, somewhat back off the right of way, um, somewhat large, but cemented in the ground and appeared to be what looked like commercial or a permanent sign. So I reached out to Mr. Kostel to see if that was allowed or if they had been permitted or what the kind of procedure was and we kind of went from there. Um, that the intent for the signs was to advertise, not advertise, but what was gonna go inside the wood structure was managed by a particular management company. So um, that was what that was what elicited my question. So that would be a rental, like a rental that was being managed by whoever. Okay. And and that di it did not indicate that they were. I mean, I have not found where any of the addresses were, other than one that were advertised as short-term rentals. So that portion is unknown. I mean, things like, uh, and as you mentioned, Mr. Costell, um so and so. Yeah. Uh, your landscape company is doing this yard and you can put up a small that cool your drawing is, is okay as long as it's temporary in nature to use your example dr gore if they're out there actively doing the landscaping it may take several days at the inception of the project they can put the sign in at the conclusion of the project the sign would have to be removed there are some nuances that need to work through related to what permanent was temporary ducks that can break late speak so there's we wish he's at the uh, God, what have the navigates up in the year, the place that would would pass this wall for it'll give us odds to work them play the volume it's winning to and come back with some recommendations as to what uh, the council would, would like to see. Okay. If anything. So this would not include the wacky weed and fleet alarm right? That's the whole thing. I believe those are already prohibited, but I'd have to confirm them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any other discussion? Good. All right. So I have a motion, then I have a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Awesome. Passes unanimously. Thank you. Thank you, Patrick. Uh, no resolutions, no first readings, and no second readings. We're now to board and agency appointments. We have uh, LaGrange slash Troop County Hospital Authority, three year uh, term to succeed, Ellen Harris and Deborah Boswell. Mr. Mayor Pro Tem, I make a motion that we reapply to Ms. Harris and Ms. Boswell. I have a motion. Second. Second that motion. Any discussion on that? All, right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Passes unanimously. No delegations. Close the comments. I'm ready. The good news for tonight, LPD along with local public safety throughout the area are going to host this year's National Night Out. This is a week from today, October 1st, 6 to 8 p.m., held in the parking lot of Emanuel Ministries and Worship Center. It's at 135 Buena Vista Avenue. The purpose of the event, heighten crime and drug prevention awareness, generate support for local anti-crime efforts, and strengthen community spirit. This event is family-friendly, free, and open to the community. Awesome. Thank you so much, Katie. Now, one thing. Yes, sir. Melissa, please right. make sure that you record this in the minutes that I said this. I want you to make sure this is in the minutes. Okay. Are we going to allow this? Sir. Mm -hmm. What do you got? Are we going to allow this? Point of order. Wait, I got one more thing. Don't mind before we end up for a few Okay. For the, the housing authority, me the hospital board authority, we're actually support, supposed to appoint three people and then they choose from those three. So what we typically do is also add the police chief and the fire chief, and then they're kind of like uh, alternative nominations, if you will, that the hospital can, can choose from. This is, a, this is the oddest statute you can imagine. There's the statute that requires that you send in three. Um, so normally, what y'all done in the past, for them to choose one in this. Like what y'all did last time was you named the fire chief and the police chief and the person they wanted and that y'all were happy to appoint. So if you'd like to do that, to redo this, just try to add those two as additional nominees. Each one of them? Sure. You can do it. You can do like one. Go ahead and want that. Mr. Mayor, I'd like to read, uh, make a motion 
that we appoint uh, to the Grange uh, Hospital Authority, Miss uh, Ellen Harris and Chief Fibage and uh, Ellen Harris is the, is the joint nominee between the city and the county. So the city would be, you, you voted for her as our nominee with the county. Then this would be Deborah Boswell, uh, Chief Five Act. Oh, yeah, so that's the one. Okay. All right, so we re replayed that motion. Make a motion that we call uh, uh, for the Grange Crew County Hospital Authority that we appoint uh, Deborah Boswell or Chief Five Ash or uh, Chief Bradfield. There you go. Thank you. I motion on that. Second. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. As you are the protocol, so that doesn't have anything to do with vision. Uh, it doesn't have to. Um, can we so can we say now? I need to. I'll say this. So you need to mix those. Don't say you. Need to turn. No.